Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hello everyone, E. Rivera and Nelly from another action figure review and today we're going to take a look at the Black Panther Marvel Legends Okoye build a figure wave by Hasbro. This is Black Panther. Here we have the Panther looking through the window packaging with the head of, of course, Black Panther and we have the head of the build a figure pretty weird seeing those two in the same package there we got two hands and the figure itself of course on the side we have pictures of the character right there and if you guys are interested you are able to purchase this figure from big bad toy store if you want the figure alone there's a link in the description below and also if you want the entire wave there's also a link in the description below for that so make sure to check it out Here's the back of the package along with the rest of the wave and the build a figure right next to it and you can pause the video right now to, to read the description no more talking, it's time to open. Here we have Black Panther out of the package and he is of course sporting the new costume, the new Black Panther suit that he's going to be wearing in the new Black Panther movie. As always, Marvel loves making new suits for every new movie, so this was no surprise to me. Black Panther comes with a separate head and two hands here, so we do have two open clawed hands, and we have the options to have two fist hands or interchange them as we would like. Here is the T'Challa head right here, using the digital printing that they are doing for the Marvel Legends and Black Series figures. I do believe that this one just didn't come out as good as I thought it should. I don't know, the likeness isn't entirely there for me. Now, when it comes to the Build-A-Figure head, the Okoye head looks spot on the actress. Now, going on to the new suit of the movie. If I had to pick one, I would have to go with the original suit that came out in Civil War. This one is cool, but it's not as cool as the first one in my opinion. I really like the first one more than this one, especially when it comes to the face mask. The face mask is just something weird about this one. Uh, it does look more cat-like, which is uh, good, I guess, but I do like the original one better. We'll show a comparison. And here is the Civil War Black Panther. You can see the major difference there in the face and just the costume design. There's not anything major like Iron Man suits, but it is some subtle differences in the suits overall. Just, you know, tiny little things. But for me, the major part is the face mask. Here he is with the alternate head that I just don't think looks like him. But I do say that this looks a lot better than the original Black Panther head that came with this one. That one almost did not look like him at all either. This one is a better alternative. Going on to the articulation of the figure, the head goes left and right. It goes up and down on a ball joint. Arms go forward and back. They go in and out. It also has the butterfly joints that Eric Killamonger also has. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. There's an ab crunch that swivels at the waist. T jointed legs go forward and back, they go in and out. There are thigh swivels, double jointed knees, ankles go left and right on a pivot, and they hinge forward and back. Here we have a little Black Panther party going on. Here we have the new Walmart exclusive Black Panther on the far left, the original Return of Marvel Legends Black Panther. And then we'll have the new one, of course, and then the Civil War movie Black Panther. So here you can get an idea of the different sizes and looks of these. Alright everybody, I thank you guys for joining me on my Marvel Legends Black Panther movie figure review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check out some of my other Marvel Legends action figure reviews that I have up. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, have a great day. Bye.